A new hearing right now over layoffs proposed after Proposition B passed. That measure would raise the pay of firefighters to be on par with the city's police officers. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live downtown with what happened at today's hearing. Andy. Keith, a lot of moving parts to this hearing, so bear with me. Today's hearing was contentious at times. At one point, two Houston City Council members just got up and walked out. Council member Ellen Cohen calling today's hearing inappropriate because they were talking about topics that, in her mind, had nothing to do with ethics. Also, Council member Brenda Stardig voicing similar concerns, adding that she feared that today's hearing could potentially be a violation of the Open Meetings Act. At the heart of today's issue, the ordinance council members voted on last week to lay off 220 firefighters. It passed 10 to 6. Since then, questions have been raised about the language in that measure. Council member Michael Kubosh saying he heard from some of his colleagues who say they were unaware that a yes vote for the layoffs also meant they were in support of demoting other firefighters who hold higher positions and that it wasn't specifically laid out that way in the ordinance. Had it been, some council members may have voted differently. Houston Fire Chief Sam Pena spoke today. He says he met privately with most council members over the past two months and laid out his plans for restructuring the department once Prop B was implemented, a plan that calls for demotions to backfill those positions included in the layoffs. How many? We can't say for sure. The president of the Houston Professional Firefighters Association, who gave a 10-minute presentation at today's hearing, believes it could be hundreds and that many firefighters were blindsided by this news. Our concern is simply the fact that there seems to be a lot of stuff going on that we are not even aware of. This is not how, in our opinion, good governance works, good public policy. Uh, if people are want to be transparent and take a position, we have no problem with that. But uh, it deserves scrutiny, and it should, as good government should. Langton also asking council members if there was or wasn't knowledge of the demotions going into last Wednesday's vote. Why or why not? Fire Chief Sam Pena also saying that 70% of the firefighters who would be demoted would receive an increase in pay. The remaining 30% wouldn't receive a pay increase, but their pay wouldn't be cut either. Live downtown, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. I got a lot of moving parts, Andy. Thank you.